Now, despite of possible gains in the banking and oil and gas stocks, analysts at Vativa say they expect the challenges in the, in, the, in the industrial and consumer goods sectors to temper overall gains. Just wish you to Ajagung, portfolio manager at Vativa Capital Management, joins me to uh, gauge market sentiment for the month of November. JT, thank you so much. Pleasure to have you on the show with us today. Well, the month of November is looking mixed so far, but let's start with uh, where investors are finding value uh, so far. But let's take a, f a few steps back. Where would you say investors found the most value in October? Then we'll tie that to what we're seeing in November. Okay, perfect. So for the month of October, um, we saw investors um, invest in the like of banking stocks and also the oil and gas stocks, right? I mean, the banking sector appreciated by about 4% month to date, and yet to date as of October, it had appreciated by 10%. And the contributors to the um, rise in the banking sector that we saw in October were the appreciations in um, Access Corp, GTB. I mean, about eight stocks out of the 10 stocks in the banking index closed in the green. And um, we owe all this to, you know, investors seeing value in the banking sector due to the fact that we're currently in an elevated interest rate environment. And what typically happens is that we see banks, you know, um, record higher interest income. And aside from that, I think one major thing was because um, investors saw that, you know, um, the prices were at attractive entry points due to the sell-offs we saw in the month of September. They considered it a very good opportunity for them right. to get those stocks at that time. So aside from the banking sector, the oil and gas sector as well, we saw surplus. We saw, I mean, Orlando has oh, always, you know, um, appreciated. He appreciated surplus. Um, also, you know, did very well. I mean, yet to date, currently, I know surplus is about 100%. Um, you know, yet to date. So investors really got value from banking stocks and also um, the oil, oil and gas. And gas. So I'm just stocks. looking at the oil and gas index for, and uh, you're right, led by Owando and yes, Sepla, 15.9% in October. What is your outlook for, again, for that sector this month? Do you think that it could, that sector could top or it perhaps even outperform uh, October's um, so for the rest of this month, I think that sector would actually continue to do really well and that will majorly be driven by, um, you know, appreciation in other stocks as well, like Connor, Eterna, we've seen investors, you know, show affinity towards those stocks and because take positions. Because of the gains we're seeing in yes, Rwanda and because Sepler, of the, yes, so because just of the, the broader gains, sentiment, you know, lift in the other stocks, right? The other sectors, yeah. Right. Uh, but I mean, when also are investors, I mean, you're a portfolio manager, uh, what, what are uh, portfolio, investors' portfolios looking like right now? Where they, what stocks are they shying away from at this time? Uh, what stocks are they quite keen on outside of banking and oil and gas stocks? Okay, so with respect to shying away from, like we've seen, we've seen investors shy away from consumer goods stocks and also industrial goods. The major reason for industrial goods is because um, earlier on in the year, we saw that sector actually book um, quite some heavy gains. And now, basically, we are seeing investors basically just take profits. Now, and we've seen that happen, you know, consistently for the last three months. So we definitely would most likely see the industrial goods sector also close down, driven by the profit-taking activities in BUA cement and also Danksem. Consumer goods stock as well, I mean, due to the macroeconomic conditions that we're currently in, FX issues, I mean, we've seen a couple of them release their results right. and due to the, you know, the um, losses that we've seen them record, we've seen a lot of investors actually, you know, shy away from that sector. However, we still have some investors. I mean, there's still some other stocks. I, I, I've seen investors sort of take position, like, you know, flour mill, mill stock. I mean, flour some... is a different yes, story entirely. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> different. I mean, if yes. you think about not even the consumer goods, uh, Okomo oil, what Okomo oil has been able to do this year with the backward integration, mm -hmm. of course, like flour mills also. Yes. Do you see this trend continuing? Maybe other, you know, consumer goods in this, uh, com for those, I, I guess, for those who can. You know, uh, look back, you know, look inwards to see how they can supplement, uh, exchange the inputs that are imported for local ones. Do you see that trend? Do you see that continuing? Um, I mean, there's a possibility we could actually see that happen because at the end of the day, um, it's, there's a competition there. So right. invest, um, companies would definitely have to try to see how they can, you know, their stocks can actually, you know, perform well and try to look at what are these people doing and seeing how they can take the positives from there and, you know, apply it into. So there's a possibility, but for now, we might not really see it happen now, but there's a possibility that we might see other companies also um, possibly tow that part, consider, considering what we've seen with Okomo and also 
as well. Um, for the rest of the now, for yeah, the rest of November, I mean, what uh, are you expecting? Any major highlights, or just the same? You know, investors looking for where they can find uh, value, or and also how much attention are investors paying to the macro uh, outlook, macro indicators? We you know had inflation come out. Of course, we saw that surge in headline. We also saw you know uh, core inflation also uh, increase. There's MPC meeting uh, next, next week. week. Uh, investors are they paying any attention, or are they just focusing on the individual companies, looking at what those companies are doing, seeing where those companies' strengths are, what they're focusing, and you know, the plans for their future, and all of that. Um, so for the rest of this month, I think one major activity that would you know drive the performance of the banking sector, just like you said, is the outcome of the MPC meeting. I mean, inflation actually inched up higher, and there's a, there's an expectation that we might see them high rate or worst case scenario the old rate. But all in all, whatever the outcome of that MPC meeting is, is what would you know determine whether we would see more investors you know tilt towards the fixed income um, you know market in search of you know higher rates. And um, I think aside from that, if there's an hike in the rate, it also I think it also supports you know a further you know strong points for the banking sector, right? Because you would see investors play more in that space. Then on to your second question, I think um, investors are actually looking at you know um, the macro side in making the decisions. What's currently happening in the economy? Inflation. What space can I you know um, you know play into? And I think that's also. I think that's where exchange traded funds as well also come into play here because the thing about it is as opposed to you know you um, selecting your stocks individually exchange traded funds basically gives investors access to the market by them just investing in a single instrument so we might most likely see some of them decide to you know diversify their portfolio by just buying a single instrument that gives them access to the market or that gives them access to a certain sector that they are interested in or that they've been able to see that based on um, the macroeconomic condition, oh, we feel that the sector will do well. I mean, we've mentioned the banking sector, which is inched on, you know, the elevated interest rate and elevated fixed income rate environment. So I think that's basically it. All right. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, JT, for talking to us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you for that market outlook. JT Tuntu, Ashe Tuntu, Ajagun Portfolio Manager at Vertiva Capital Management.